September 2024 marks the 60th anniversary of seminal James Bond film Goldfinger. And to celebrate the occasion, Eon Productions and the Burlington Arcade created a special experience inside the arcade, including a 007 themed carpet running the length of the mall and golden sculptures of the iconic Aston Martin DB5 from the film hanging over it. On opening day, members of 007 GB, the British James Bond fan club, gathered at the 007 uh, centerpiece pop-up bar and boutique, and I used this opportunity to grab some of them for chats. First up is Graham James, the creator of popular Instagram channel James Bond Confidential. Hi, Graham James from James Bond Confidential on Instagram. Graham, what brought you to Bond in the first time? Uh, my dad, childhood. Um, he always watched the films, they were always on at Christmas, so I'd be sitting down with him watching them, he'd be telling me who was what, etc. And then I kind of learnt it, um, got older, was going to the cinema oh, on myself. How did that start? Um, probably the first film I saw, I was probably about six or seven. Um, A bit younger than recommended? Yeah, probably, but um, I think because of it being on the television, there were certain things cut that maybe shouldn't have been available to a younger audience. But it, it, was, it was real action fantasy. I hadn't seen anything like it. Then I got older. I was able to go to the cinema myself. Um, Roger Moore, Spy Who Loved Me, was my first film at the cinema. Watched them all as they went through. Um, but then I did get a little bit wary, tired, as it progressed, just purely because of how formulaic it was. You knew who was gonna do what, et cetera. You know, when the good guy was gonna come in, when a bad guy was gonna be killed, et cetera. So I did kind of tire a little bit um, towards the end of the Pierce Brosnan um, right. films. And then we had a, then we had a, a blank period, um, very much like what we're in at the moment. Um, and then Daniel Craig's Bond reignited my passion um, for the whole Bond franchise, etc. Daniel Craig is very much Marmite. There are people firmly in the camp who love him. I'm in that camp. And there are people who don't. Um, everyone's, you know, fair to have their own view. I'm not certainly here to try and sort of like drag them over to my side, but respect my opinion at the same time. I thought he brought in a real new energy to it. And I was absolutely gutted when his tenure has come to an end. Now, obviously, we're all waiting for an announcement about a new Bond, a new film. I've, I've heard two, two potentials. Um, you can either take the Daniel Craig five film arc as one big long film and it's over there, a bit, bit like a Marvel multiverse. Yeah. And you could then say, okay, fine. The next Bond film will just be a continuation from Die Another Day. You know, the established Bond, etc. As they're talking about wanting a younger man and it being available for the next 15 years, maybe they're gonna do another reboot. Um, whether it will be a, a Casino Royale storyline, of which I think is the best film out of all of them, out of the whole 25 official films, Casino Royale is top for me. It had everything I wanted to see. Um, I, I really don't know. And I, I spoke with someone on Bond production just last night, oh. and they said to me, there's nothing going on at the moment. Because um, there's, there's an award coming up in November for um, Barbara Broccoli oh, yes. and Michael Wilson. And honoring Oscar. That's right. And it, was, and it was being announced that a big announcement is going to come. Now everybody thinks... And everyone's thinking, it's, this is the Bond, this is the film, etc. I mean, with, with the Amazon thing, I hope we don't start watering down bond too much and we start to have spin-off programs you know a felix lighter program with maybe bond wandering in and wandering out every now and again 
that wouldn't appeal to me. Um, Would still be better than Roll to a Million? Oh, God, 100%. That was a goddamn awful show, that really was. Um, I would love us to get back to it being the every two year cycle. You know, um, we're missing that, you know. The gaps are getting longer and longer. Um, Completely agree. It, we, we, we need something. The worry for me is, is that even if it's announced now, you're talking late 26 before we're going to see a film. You know, um, maybe they might try and do two films in one in one run. You know, a bit like the Mission Impossible element where they've just carried on filming, um, so we can get a quicker a quicker film. Um, we need something. I mean, these these installations are great. They they feed the fans' need. Um, but there's nothing like a film, a premiere, um, you know, lots of, lots of conjecture as to who's going to be Bond. I would love to see Henry Cavill in the role. You know, he came second to Daniel Craig um, in being cast for Casino Royale. Um, Martin Campbell liked Henry Cavill. I know people are saying, oh, he's 40, he's 41, you know, he's too old. No, I mean... Just look at him, you know, he can carry himself. I think for me, it's, it's the timeline. There's no point saying we need someone for 15 years and then you only do one film every five years. You know, you need to be able to say, right, we're gonna knock out some films every couple of years. Then that time you can get six or seven films, you know, pushed out. We were talking about your channel. Yes. Uh, your, your social media. Now you do something very specific. I started off, you know, with nothing, no followers or anything, and it was just the standard Bond stuff that comes out. And I do like to post them regularly because I want to keep, you know, the flow of Bond yeah. going. Um, but I have now started having holidays which coincide with Bond locations. So I've literally just come back from Matera, where, which is a place that I would never have gone to. Um, but I've just come back from there. I've got a stack of videos and um, photos that have all got to be edited and published. Um, and that's what I'm now doing. You know, um, people seem to be picking up on that. I get some great feedback. Um, I also get some not great feedback. It's an enjoyment. And, and as I say, you know, there's a number of us that are in this, yeah. in this arena. Um, no one's hurting anyone. You know, you go out, you look. Um, I personally am not monetizing anything. Um, I just put the content out. Um, I put it out because I like it. If yeah. someone else then happens to like it at the same time, then great. Um, and it, it, it's just been good, you know. Um, I've just taken early retirement now, so I can sort of re I'm now the commander of my own time. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna be able to do more content go to more places. I'm getting more involved with 007 GB now um, because they, they're doing an excellent job. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's what we need. It's what we need to just feed our anxiety over nothing official going on. Yes, exactly. It does feel like we're, we're looking for something to fill the void yes. that isn't being filled by Absolutely. the channel. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Graham, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. In the next episode, we hear from David Zaritsky of the Bond Experience and take a look at NPL's exclusive 007 Goldfinger 60th collection. And before you go, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content. Thank you.